Hello, I'm Russell Bateman, uh, chef of Colette's at The Grove. Um, and we're in the kitchen today, we're gonna to be preparing a silver side of Irish beef, which is a really underused uh, cut of beef, but also it's perfect for the preparation we're doing. We're gonna make a brisola, so that's a, a traditional Italian cured, uh, basically a silver side. So the good thing about the silver side for this is, it's not the greatest piece of beef for roasting, but for this preparation, it's perfect. It's got a very low fat content, it's very firm. And, it, and because of the low fat content, it cures perfectly well. So first of all, we're going to make our marinade. Um, we've obviously, we're going to use a Italian red wine. This is a Chianti, so obviously very strong. And then we're going to add flavour to it. So we've got some shallots, carrots and garlic, orange peel, that's going to add a lovely fruitiness to the brisola. Of course, thyme and bay leaf, which is a natural ingredient to go with any beef dish. And then we've got muscovado sugar, that's gonna add a real depth and a richness of flavor. Mold and salt. Rock salt. And then finally, and probably most importantly, we've got the spices. So we've got cinnamon, star anise, black cardamom, and black peppercorns. That's all gonna go in there, and then we're just gonna bring that to the boil. Okay, while that's coming to the boil, we're going to roll our brazola. So we're going to do a few very simple butcher's knots. So you can see I've left a little bit of the skin on there and a little bit of the fat. That's just going to add a little bit more moisture to it as it's cured. So we wrap our string underneath, bring it back towards us, wrap it around our forefinger and around and then through. This process is just going to give a regimental shape to the beef so that it cures and hangs and dries evenly. So you can see we've three simple knots, you've got a quite regimented shape where before it was a triangle. So if we have a look at our marinade now on the stove, so that's beginning to come up to the heat now. We just mix that in, make sure the sugar doesn't sink to the bottom and it doesn't caramelise, that's very important. If it caramelises it becomes too sweet. And then I'm going to put that on a bowl of water, cold water, to cool down. Okay so now we're going to cool that down on ice water. Obviously, we don't want our silver side to cook in this marinade, we want it to cure. We've got to make sure it's below four degrees. So to serve with the silver side, the brazola, we're going to serve a homemade ricotta. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put our cream and our milk on the stove. We're going to bring it up to 82 degrees. So we use a probe for that. Once it reaches 82 degrees, we're going to add our buttermilk. The idea of adding the buttermilk is it adds acidity, which makes it separate and effectively curdle. And when it gets to 94 degrees, we're going to hold it there as long as possible. So if I just lightly move that, you can already see the ricotta beginning to form. Okay, so now that the, uh, the marinade, the cure, the brine is cooled down, we're going to add the silver side to it. What we're going to do is add a little bit to the bowl first, and then we're going to add the silver side on top. And that's just to make sure it's all around it and it's been rolled in it properly. So we're just going to press that down inside. Now a good idea is to get a piece of parchment paper or greaseproof paper and just put it on top and a little lightweight that's obviously been cleaned and sterilised. So this will do two things, it will prevent the beef from going above the wine and it will also prevent any bacteria getting onto the wine. Now we're just going to cling film it. And what you'll notice is the longer it's in the marinade the smaller the piece of beef gets, that's because the salt is drawing the moisture out of the beef. Okay, so now we've got a, a brazola that I've had in the brine for two weeks. And then what we're going to do is remove that and place it onto a cloth, take off any excess moisture. You can see that's really taken on the colour of the wine. Really deep colour. So the next thing we're going to do is roll it in muslin. So once that's rolled, nice and tight, we're going to take our string, we're going to do exactly the same process as we did with it before it went in the marinade. Now for the ends, the most important piece. So we're going to make sure we've got a long piece of string and almost like a Christmas cracker. Take the end and twist, nice and tight. Take your string and wrap your string around the top and continue to twist in a spiral motion towards the piece of meat. This will mean it gets tighter and tighter and that's exactly what you want. Then a double knot to make it nice and secure. 
and then leave a lot of excess string because you're going to want to hang it with this string. So then we're going to do exactly the same with the other end. Just trim off any unwanted muslin. Now to hang our beef, you're going to need a, a cool aerated room or a box, maybe in a, a garage, somewhere where there's a really good air circulation. You want the air temperature to be between 4 degrees and 12 degrees. No higher, preferably no lower. If it's lower, it slows down the process. If it's higher, it can, it can ruin the process. Okay, so now I've just uh, taken my brazola out. It's been hanging for uh, two weeks. Real depth of color from the red wine and also from the hanging. See it's slightly curved up where it's dried out. Now all to do is to slice it. Okay, so here we can see the ricotta. We can see where, where it's separated. So now what we'll do, we'll just hang that in a muslin let the whey separate and then use the, the curd for the dish. So we've got the dressing on there and then we're going to put a little bit of our uh, ricotta on. It's going to add a nice creaminess to the dish. And now our brazola. Okay, then we want some texture. So for that, we're going to use these little rye bread croots. So we've got some nice baby rocket. And there we've got our Irish beef brazola with ricotta, blackcurrant dressing and wild rocket.